Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on determining the cube root of a number using a calculator. Now in the previous video we saw the idea of square root. So for example, if we started with 3, the number 3, and we squared it, now 3 squared means 3 multiplied by itself, so that will give you 9. And the opposite was known as a square root. So if you square rooted 9, it asked a question, well what squared gave you 9? Well it's 3, so the square root of 9 is 3. Square rooting is the opposite of squaring. Now we also have something called cubing, so we saw that in a previous video. If we had, for example, 4 cubed, that means a number multiplied by itself, multiplied by itself. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So 4 cubed is 64. Now the opposite of that, if we were to cube root 64, that would give you 4. So cube rooting asks the question, what cubed gave you that number? So if I wrote it like this, the cube root of 64, with a little mini 3 here, that says what number cubed gave you 64? Well, it was 4, because 4 cubed is 64. If I wrote the cube root of 1,000, what number cubed gave you 1,000? Well, 10 cubed gives you 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, so the answer would be 10. So usually, but not always, cube rooting a number makes it smaller. Now, we can do this on our calculator. Now, the first one we don't really need a calculator for, the cube root of 8. Now, you just need to ask yourself, what number cubed gives you 8? Well, it's 2. 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the answer is 2. For the second one, 1728, we want to do the cube root of 1728. And by the way, if you don't put the little 3 there, if we just wrote this for example, without a number, by default it's a 2 which means the square root and the square root of 36. We saw previously is 6. So there's nothing there, it means 2 by default. But cube root, we do need to put the 3 there. Now to get the cube root of a number, what we do is we use a button on your calculator which might look like this and it will have on top of the button what looks like the cube root symbol here. Now, if you want to get the functionality for the gold text above a button, depends what calculator you have, you use the shift key, which is in gold, in order to get the gold stuff above the button. So if we press shift and then the square root button, because we actually want the cube root, and then we'll have a little box, so I want to put the 1728 in, so it looks exactly what I have here, and press equals, then it gives you 12. So it seems that 12 cubed gives you 1,728. And we can also do on a calculator where we don't get uh, a nice whole number as the answer. So if I did, for example, the cube root, so shift square root key, and then I did, say, um, 165, the cube root 165 is 5.4848. So we don't always get a whole number as the answer.